Uh, hi guys, I thought I'd share this with you. I've just been out to my uh, local um, uh, B&Q, that's a hardware store that we have in the UK, and so I was looking for uh, some um, one inch um, tube to wind my um, loading coils on, and I found uh, this, it's actually uh, um, uh, 21.5 millimeters, so a bit smaller than one inch. Um, one inch is 25.4 millimeters, but uh, I think that's near enough uh, just so s people could reproduce uh, what I'm going to do. But while I was there, uh, I found these, and um, this is uh, two aluminium tubes there. So the uh, the larger one there, oh, it's upside down. That's uh, um, uh, 12 millimeters by one millimeter. Uh, and one millimeter wall and the little tube is uh, also upside down sorry about that um, eight millimeters by one millimeter and I found oh, sorry uh, I also found this this is a, a plastic tube and this is uh, one millimeter uh, sorry this is uh, 10 millimeters by 1.2 millimeters now in actual fact it's out of spec and it's a little bit thin but it's very interesting. Uh, these tubes nest together almost perfectly um, so the smaller aluminium uh, tube goes inside the plastic tube and then if I go to the other end then the, uh, the plastic tube fits inside uh, that larger one. So in terms of making a gamma match capacitor, these are very useful materials with uh, a little bit of um, uh, sort of water pump grease on there to exclude any moisture. Uh, even if it gets wet, the, uh, the gap is so small uh, that it's it's not going to have a significant impact on the uh, capacitance. So I'm just going to do a check and see uh, how many picofarads per inch I get. Um, but what I'm currently playing with, I'm looking for 20 picofarads or thereabouts. So uh, I'll just measure that up and uh, see uh, see what it's good for. I've uh, cut 10 inches of the plastic tube, and I'll just put a bit of tape. On there so that's uh, obviously I'll put the plastic tube over the thinner rod and then um, I've marked that off in inches along here and uh, I'll put that inside the larger tube so uh, I'm going to engage uh, about 10 inches of that no I'll engage exactly 10 inches and um, I'll measure the uh, uh, the capacitance. Okay. Uh, with the assembly on the bridge, uh, it's telling me that I've got um, for the 10 inches of engagement, I've got uh, 140 picofarads. So it looks like around 14 picofarads per inch. I'll try it at a different value. Okay, I've got uh, five inches of engagement, so the the rod is pushed into uh, the uh, the outer tube by five inches, and uh, now I've got a, a reading of um, uh, 0 0.07 times a thousand, so that's 70 picofarads. So my 70 picofarads divided by 5 inches again gives me 14 picofarads per inch. Um, I'm only looking for uh, something like 20 picofarads. So as so long as I arrange to have uh, a couple of inches of, uh, uh, of engagement, uh, that'll be good. And I'm sure I can uh, make that waterproof. I may not use this as I was going to use a, a motorized um, capacitor drive. Anyway, I um, uh, hope you found that interesting, hopefully helpful. Um, sorry about the lousy lighting on the um, previous video, but uh, I have a real battle in this workshop because uh, it's, it's a grey old day now out there, but uh, 
when the uh, when the sun's shining it just uh, blasts in and gives me uh, a real problem okay thanks for watching bye bye